hi welcome back today I thought it would be fun to talk about some products that I initially didn't have super high expectations for these are things that I just kind of picked up on a whim or things that were sent to me and I kind of just thought like eh, yeah we'll give it a shot but I overall wasn't expecting much and then they kind of turned into things I have really been pleased with. I would say that the collection I've got here is kind of split at 50-50. A lot of these are new-ish products or new products to me. And then the rest are things that I've been using for a while. But I just wanted to do a fun twist. It's always good to talk about things that don't necessarily get like a ton of hype. And I feel like that's a lot of these products that I have to talk about today. So let's just go ahead and start. The first product is a newer one from Tatcha. It was released a few months ago and it's the Tatcha Serum Stick. So this is a, well, the back of it says treatment and touch up balm for eyes and face. I like using it more so as a primer and when you open it up, it kind of looks like it's gonna be a stick like silicone primer but it feels nothing like that on the skin and once you get it on it leaves your face with this most like luminous glow i can't describe it it is more to me of like an oil stick because when you put it on you immediately have this radiance coming from within and it also kind of does have this really lightweight feathery oil texture to it so i really was not expecting that when um, first using this I was kind of expecting it to feel something like um, the traditional Tatcha canvas primer that's more you know what I'm talking about that more traditional like silicone primer feel but it feels so lovely on the face just like a very lightweight oil so it's it's got this very interesting texture to it but I love wearing it underneath my makeup especially if I'm already going to go for um, a really luminous look Next up, we have Wonder Beauty Nude Illusion Foundation. I had some kind of idea that I may like this, um, but I didn't think I would like it as much as I do. It has this beautiful, just, I, I, I will say that as I am getting older, I used to be really into like heavily dewy products. And now as I'm getting older, I'm kind of just more into like the natural finish. I don't really need something to be overly dewy to be pleased with it. This is a pretty dewy product. So um, when I first applied it, I kind of just thought like, ah, oh, this might be, this might be a little much for me, but it just dries down to this very youthful finish. It very much reminds me of my um, Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation, which most of you know that is like a cult classic for me. But it does have more coverage than the Charlotte Tilbury one, and that's also something I wasn't expecting. And when I saw that um, upon application, I again wasn't really expecting to love it. But something about this just looks so healthy and skin-like. It just really seemed to work well with my skin. Another very recent purchase for me is the Kosas Concealer. And this was one that I actually purchased with the thought that I was going to hate it. I saw the texture online and swatches and I could just tell that it is a thicker texture and I generally don't go for that in concealer. But after I got it in, I kid you not, I have used like one other concealer since getting this in and I have been so pleased with it every single day. It is a definitely more of a fuller coverage formula, which is why I thought that I wasn't gonna be a huge fan of it, but something about it, it just blends out so incredibly well and gives you the coverage, but without having, you know, like the creasy, crepey, dry after effect. So I have, I've been impressed with Kosas with a few products that I have purchased. I've been pretty impressed and I think that it says a lot to the brand because I feel as if they don't do a ton of social media advertising. They're not a super hyped brand and for so many people to be familiar with, um, especially this concealer, I feel like this concealer has gotten a lot of um, attention. It kind of just shows that they are making really nice user friendly and innovative products and so this concealer has just been a banger for me i have so enjoyed it i also love 
the shade that I purchased, which is shade number three. The concealers do run, um, they run dark. They run really yellow and they run dark. So if you are going off the swatches online, I would probably recommend at least going down a shade because I was going to buy the shade four in this concealer, which ha would have been a disaster. Um, it would have been way too dark for me, but the shade three is phenomenal. If you feel as if you are my skin type, I'm more of like the darker light skin tone, maybe like verging into my light medium summer color. But if I am purchasing foundations right now, I'm kind of buying like the darker end of the spectrum for the light category. Next up are Fenty Matchsticks. Now these, I feel like I developed a, a an opinion on before purchasing because I had seen so many reviews talk about how dry these were. And those reviews are not wrong. The Matchsticks formula is definitely on the drier side. However, when it comes to the bronzer and contour formula, which is what I'm using here, I'm using the shade Mocha, I think that is the best formula for bronzers and uh, cream, even cream blushes, because they just have more integrity. They will uh, last longer on the skin. They don't have the emollients that a really liquid or creamy bronzer will have. And so for that reason, they really do stay on the skin, in my opinion, so much better. So when I am looking at cream bronzers and cream blushes, I'm not looking for what the creamiest formula is. I'm kind of looking for what has a good substance, if that makes sense. What uh, is not too dry, but also not too emollient. And I think the Fenty matchsticks are like that perfect in-between texture. I've explained in past videos on how to use cream products, why it's important to not necessarily go for the most creamy or liquid product. And that's because especially if you're a beginner, you're more likely to disturb your base underneath and disturb the products that you've already applied. Like for example, if I took a liquid blush right now and just applied it straight to my cheeks, what is that water content going to do to the products that I've already applied? It's essentially gonna strip it away. So you have to be really finicky and careful with that um, style of cream or liquid product. And so just, I mean, for me personally, when I'm doing makeup for other people, when I'm doing makeup on myself, I prefer something that does have a little bit more of a dry texture because not only does it latch on and stay? It just overall, I think, is easier application. So for that reason, I have absolutely no beef with the Fenty matchsticks, especially the uh, bronzing or the darker shades. I think that they are phenomenal contour bronzers. RMS Tinted Unpowder. So this, in all circumstances, should have been a powder that I hated because number one, it's more of a translucent powder. I generally don't gravitate towards translucent powders. I'd much prefer like a really sheer pressed powder or a baked powder. So that was the first thing. The second thing is that it is a pretty mattifying powder, which we all know, like, it just ain't for me. However, the blurring capabilities of this powder, it's just phenomenal. I mean, I, it's like, I look, I'm applying it right now and it's probably not gonna translate on camera, but I do have kind of like some cluster bumps right here. And as soon as I press that powder on top of them, that spot is almost immediately blurred. And I just don't feel like I have found the smoothing capabilities in any other powder. And so what I do with this is I do apply it in moderation because if I apply it all over my face, then it can definitely just get too flat really quickly. So I'll just use it to set the T-zone and my under eye area and anywhere that I feel I'm extra shiny. Um, but it is so, so smoothing. I love it. This is the new Persona Cosmetic Super Blush. I have it in the shade Georgia. There's also another shade Carmel, which is a little bit more of a pink tone. So this is a powder blush, and if you're familiar with my channel, then you'll know why. I probably didn't have like the highest expectations for um, another powder blush in my collection. Number one, 
I don't use powder blush often. And number two, I actually got rid of most of my powder blushes. So for this to even be in this video speaks a lot because I just don't wear it often. I don't wear powder blush often. Something about the formula of these powder blushes, it's not like a standard powder. It's very lightweight, almost does feel like a cream. It almost has like this bounce to it. Um, so it, to me, it's almost like a powder cream hybrid, but they're very airy, very lightweight. They're definitely not, I mean, it's definitely not a cream. It's 100% a powder, so I don't want to mislead anyone in that area, but just the way that they apply, so super smooth, um, not patchy, and uh, I just think that they are so stunning for a powder blush. In a world of, or a sea of hundreds and thousands of powder blushes, uh, these are just so beautiful. Finally, we have made it to our first drugstore product, and this is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Illuminator. So this one's in the shade Moonstone, which is the shade that I generally use. I just, I have had these for a very long time, and not only do I just use them often as a drugstore product, I kind of keep this on my makeup desk as my staple highlighter is what I just use on the reg for my highlighter because it's not overwhelming and I really love the shade of it. Uh, super affordable and something about the formula. I just really like it. It comes in a few colors but I just find that this Moonstone shade matches uh, my skin tone best. So yeah, especially if I am wearing a little bit more powder than usual, I think that this is a really pretty product to um, top the skin with. And when I got these in, I had the vibe that they were going to be like very underwhelming, not really show up on the skin, but it's kind of like this perfect combination of not too much, but just enough to give your skin a little glisten. Very recent purchase of mine, and it's the Milk Makeup Gel Brow. So this is a pencil, and again, I purchased this because it was for my Clean It Sephora makeup video, and this was one of the only clean brow products on Sephora's website, so I just bought it because of that. I really had no interest in trying it, and I just kind of thought like, okay, well, you know, it's gonna be another brow pencil in my collection, but I love the formula of this. So it's called Gel Brow, and it really does have this interesting gel texture to where when you sweep it over your brows, it holds your brows in place. So it's almost like a brow pencil and a brow gel in one. And for that reason, I've just really been loving it because it's kind of just cutting down on another product. Uh, I also really like the color that I have, which is called Pilsner. It's the medium brown shade. So yeah, it's fast, it's quick, and it has the ability to keep your brows in place. So I have been very impressed with it. This next product is irrelevant. It's not anything that I'm putting in the category of makeup that surprised me, but I found it in my collection today and I thought it would be a fun throwback to throw on, especially for my Bare Minerals lovers out there. And it's the Loose Bare Minerals Eyeshadow in the shade Precious. It's kind of just like this very light wash shell tone shade. And I'm really just gonna be focusing on winged liner, so that's why I just wanted to throw something on. There really wasn't anything in my collection I felt um, that I could use that, you know, surprised me or really like blew me away. So um, I'm just going to use this because I found it and I was like, you know what, that'll be fun. So I'm just going to do a very light wash of Precious all over my lid. This is a drugstore product I had mentioned several videos back and I just have been completely obsessed with it. I love this and I bought it just on a whim because I wanted to get back into this style or this technique of makeup, if you will. And I have literally not put it down. It's the L'Oreal Flash Cat Eye Liquid Eyeliner. And it's the brown color. I specifically bought this because I wanted a brown liquid eyeliner. And I just love it. It is so easy to apply. It's really just made me kind of fall back in love with the simplicity of liquid eyeliner. Super affordable. I have hooded eyelids. It does not crease on me. It does not transfer. I just, I, I, I like it. I think it's the bomb.
this mascara. I have been obsessed with it. It's the mini version of the Tarte Surfer Curl. Again, something I bought because it was listed as clean at Sephora. And I told myself I was not buying high-end mascaras this year. That was a part of my no-buy. But I made an exception for that video since I didn't have any clean drugstore uh, mascaras on hand. So I bought a mini version just to you know, kind of justify it. Hot damn if I don't love this mascara. It works so good with my eyelashes. I don't know what it is. And it's really funny because it does not have great reviews on the Sephora website. The reviews kind of seem like 50-50 and I have just found it to be so lengthening, which is hard for me to find in a mascara because my eyelashes kind of point more uh, in a straight direction. So this has just been, uh, it works good, works good for me. So I went ahead and lined my lips with the Charlotte Tilbury Pink Venus Lip Liner. I didn't really have a lip liner that I felt needed to be mentioned. So I'm gonna move into my final product, which is lip gloss. And these are ones that I have to admit I don't give enough credit to. And again, it's from Persona and it's her, just her regular lip glosses. These have such a hydrating, lightweight feel to them, but they're so incredibly shiny. I have most of the colors. I think there's only a couple that I don't have. My all-time favorite is Peach. That's one that I think would be so universal for most skin tones. Today, I'm gonna use the Coral one, which is a little bit more on the bright side since we are so muted everywhere else, but these are just incredible lip glosses. I can truly say that I don't have a lip gloss formula that is like these. They are lightweight, they feel good, they're not sticky, but they provide just the ultimate high shine to the lips. So again, shout out to Persona, these are stunning glosses. Voila, we are done and I'm loving the coral vibes going on right now. I don't generally gravitate towards coral and this gloss looks like it's gonna be pretty, you know, hot fire orange, but it's actually a very gorgeous wearable coral shade. Um, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have everything listed down below. Let me know if you have any questions. I have been getting uh, questions back and forth asking if I'm gonna do a Sephora recommendations video. At this time, I think I'm going to skip on the Sephora recommendations video this year. I really want to be sensitive to everyone watching to the current situation and I, I just don't think I'll be doing one. What I do think I might do in the community tab of my page, if you're on a desktop or even on your um, iPhone, if you do have notifications turned on for me, I have a community tab and uh, I'm able to make posts to share with you all in that community tab. And I'm thinking I might share some of just my ultimate recommendations, maybe 10 at the most. Uh, just for those of you who were planning on doing just a little bit of shopping and wanted some suggestions. But I would highly suggest referring back to the video that I did last year because most of the things that I talked about last year are still going to be things that I recommend this year. So um, you just to answer your question on that. I just wanted to, to touch base on that a little bit. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed videos coming up. Full face of e.l.f. makeup. And then I also have a video coming up with my mom very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.